family? As many of you know, this Thursday, I leave on a 10-day missions trip to Mafia King, South Africa. I'm going through my school, Grand Canyon University, in partnership with an organization called Orchard Africa, a nonprofit missions organization based in Phoenix. Orchard has been a part of the village of Mafia King for about 20 years. When they first entered the scene, Mafia King was rampant with crime, disease, and starving orphans. Today, the village has a church, an orphanage, and the crime rate has decreased extensively. It's going to be awesome to see what Orchard, and more importantly, God, has done in this village, and to partner with them, even for just a week. I'm super excited to be going back to Africa, as I pretty much fell in love with it last summer when I went to Kenya. Although I know South Africa will be a much different experience than Kenya, and although I know the layout and feeling of the trip itself and my team will be very different, I still anticipate God doing great things, as he already has in Mafia King from what I've heard. One thing that's really stood out to me, both in preparing for this trip and my last, is that our purpose is not to bring God to Africa. God is already and has been working there. He doesn't need us there. He can transform villages and lives without us, or through anyone else. I also believe, however, that he called me to go. I heard him, and I'm being obedient to that call, all for his glory. While we're in Mafia King, we will be leading a vacation Bible school for the orphans of the village. My team of 15 is split into five groups, each group leading the lessons and activities for that day. We will also be teaching life skills to the people of the village, as well as visiting and praying for the sick. One thing about South Africa that I wasn't previously aware of is that it has the highest prevalence of HIV and AIDS in the world, accounting for about 71% of the, HIV, of the entire world's HIV infections. One of the things I'm probably most excited about for this trip is that we will get to show these people, outcast of society, God's love. We will get to pray for them, talk to them, and show them that they're valuable, regardless of their affliction. So what can you be praying for? Before we leave, pray that our hearts would be softened towards these people and that we would stay humble. Pray that there would be no travel complications, and pray that we would not let our expectations get in the way of our experience and God's plan for us. While we are in the country, pray that my team will learn to work cohesively and efficiently and just really unite under the purpose of loving the people of this village. Pray that we would have servants' hearts and that we would be intensely aware of God's goodness and faithfulness, even in the midst of a poor village rampant with illness and poverty. Again, thank you all so much for partnering with me, both financially and through prayer. Your support means so much to me. I honestly probably wouldn't even be going on this trip if it weren't for you. I'm excited to share um, my experience with any of you when I come back to Portland for the summer. Bye for now.